This is McFly Angler. starts now. For a hook, we will need a short shank saltwater hook like these from Risen Fly, and today I'm tying a size 2. Place the hook securely in your vise. For thread, I'm actually using a fine mono thread. It's what is usually used to tie these flies. But next week I will show you another way to tie them with regular thread. Start the mono right behind the hook eye and snip off the waist. Then bring your thread down to the start of the bend of the hook. Now we need some red crystal flash. Five to six strands should be sufficient. Wrap the end of the flash around the thread and tie in directly on the bottom portion of the hook, right behind the hook bend. And make sure the flash is split on both sides of the hook, like so. Then cut off the waist, leaving a section of red flash about to the back of the hook bend. Then save the extra flash for other flies. Now we need some EP fiber. Today I'm using white and baitfish blue, but these come in a wide variety of colors, so get creative. So actually I'm using something called Congo hair, which is basically the same thing as EP fiber, but less expensive. And I got it from Fly Tires Dungeon. Now everyone asks me how I get my flies to be so transparent, and here's the trick. You want very little fiber here. Seriously, select what you think is a small amount, and then divide that in half. Like you see here, it's just a wisp of material. Okay, so we will make multiple pieces here. Let's cut the first selection in half to make two equal lengths. Next, select the same amount of fiber and cut it into thirds. Then cut another selection into fourths. Okay, so don't make my mistake. Turn off your air conditioner and fan before doing this. The materials will fly all over the place. Okay, let's make the same number and sizes of pieces with the blue fiber. Then select one of the larger pieces of white material and separate the ends to two sections, like so. Put the material under the hook shank with the split pieces on either side of the hook. Position the material so it's directly in the center of the bunch and then tie it in with a couple wraps. Now we need some flashaboo, and today I'm using pearl. Select two strands. Tie the strands in so they extend out a little past the white fiber. Then pull the forward facing pieces rearward and tie those in to create a flash tail. Cut the excess flash to length. Now grab one of the longer blue pieces and tie it in so it extends out as long as the white section, and tie it in directly on top of the hook. Now, quick note, I tied down a little too deep into the bend, which will curve the tail downward. So keep this in mind when tying your flies. Don't tie too deep into the bend with the materials. Keep it angling straight back. Tie up a few wraps, ensuring to keep the materials directly on top and bottom of the hook shank. Don't allow these to rotate around. If they do, then move them back into place. Now bring your thread back a wrap or two and then pull the forward facing strands of the blue section rearward and tie it down directly on top of the hook shank, leaving a small space between the previous strands. Pull back the white fiber and tie in directly at the bottom at the same spot. Then split the fiber and divide it in either side of the hook. Pull everything rearward and make a few wraps over everything and then advance your thread up to right in front of the bump you just made. Okay, let's repeat the last steps with another piece of long fiber for both the white and blue strands. When tying these in, it's important to leave similar spaces between the previous section of fiber and the new one. Also, it's important to keep the fiber directly on the bottom or top of the hook. Okay, now let's use the medium sized pieces of fiber. By the way, when you go to wrap the thread, sometimes it gets twisted and will jump forward, which makes tying in difficult. So you can spin the thread counterclockwise to ensure it doesn't do that. Anyway, tie the white thread in directly on the bottom of the hook, but don't worry this time about splitting the fiber. You will see later when we cut this section that it will automatically split. Anyway, tie in the sections in the same way, keeping them directly on top and bottom, but making minimal but even gaps up the shank with the fiber. Continue with another piece of medium length fiber, Then with the shorter pieces, you cut until you reach the hook eye. As you can see, when we get further towards the front, we are gradually bringing each section of fiber closer together to create a little more bulk at the front.
Once you reach the eye, make sure you tie back the final section with a very little bit of space between that section and the eye. You want to create a minimal head on this fly. Whip finish and the tying portion is now complete. Okay, let's cut the fly to shape. First, let's brush it out so the fiber is even. Make sure you use some longer scissors, as these shorter four inch are just a little too short to get some good cuts with. First, let's cut an angle down from the head. You want a rather tall profile on these flies, so let's leave a little bit of room at the front, like so. Then cut an angle on the bottom using the hook point as a guide. You will be left with some sharp angles at the front. Let's cut those round. Continue brushing out the fiber with your fingers or a toothbrush to make sure all the fibers are cut to the right length. Do the same thing with the top section as well, rounding out the front and trimming any errant fibers. Periodically brush out the fly, seeing how it looks. Make small cuts, and don't cut too much at one time. You can always cut more off, but can't put more back on. Keep shaping the fly until you're happy with it. Okay, now let's add some eyes. And today I'm using these 5mm ice-colored living eyes from Fishgull. Pull two off and put them in your hand to get them ready. You will also need some gel type super glue. Now many people place the eyes further back, but I like to put them right at the head, and you will see why in a minute. Put one drop on either side of the whip finish, and then place the eyes on where they're directly behind the hook eye. Make sure the eyes are even, and even take the fly out and look at it directly head on so you can adjust it if necessary. Okay, let that dry for a minute or two, and then grab some UV resin. Today I'm using Solarez Thin Formula, and their ultra-thin, bone-dry formula. Turn the fly in the vise so it's angled upward like so, then put a drop of thin resin between the eyes and then cure it hard with your UV light. You can see it soaked into the material a little, and I wanted more of a round head, so let's add another drop to shape the head better. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's do the same thing for the underside of the eyes. These will be very secure now, however I like to add one final step to really secure the eyes. Brush this ultra thin resin all over the eyes, ensuring not to get any in the hook eye. This will put a protective shell over the eyes and really keep them from coming loose. Once cured, it will give a nice shiny and professional look as well. Now the fly is ready to fish. However, after putting the eyes on, I like to go back and look at it once more. Brush it out and see if I need to trim it again to the right shape. And there we go, a finished EP baitfish fly. As you can see, this is very see-through and will give a nice subtle presentation, just like a baby baitfish. It is thin yet tall, which works perfectly for mimicking bunker, pinfish, shad, and any other flat type fish. You can tie these in any color combo you want. And check back next week for a pinfish coloration with some regular type thread. Let me know in the comment section what colors you like tying these in and tell me your fish stories of what you have caught with similar type patterns. As you all know, I've gotten you all discounts from www.risenfly.com. They manufacture all their own hooks, rods, reels, fly tying tools, and other gear for fly fishing. Not only are the prices at their shop very good already, but like I said, they're offering you 15% off of your first order with them. So go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout for a discount on your entire cart. I want to also thank all of my patrons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel and also get some great perks like early access access to my videos, participate in live streams, and even discounts on purchasing flies I tie and sell. Yes, that's right, I do sell flies hand tied by me. If you want to order, you can do so through Patreon for that discount, or just place an order by finding me on Instagram or Facebook. Or if you don't use social media, then you can go to my YouTube homepage, click the About section, and then click View Email Address and email me with your order. I want to also thank all of you who share all my videos and your continued support by hitting the like button and being my subscriber. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.